Welcome back. So here's an update on Blitzkrieg 3. We are now in version 0.6.2 and some fixes were made. Server stability was improved. The issue with being stuck in the main menu is now fixed. It was a real problem in the previous version. And now the replays work properly. More important is what they are working on currently for the new update. The rare issue of zombie troops will be fixed. And with that I mean troops that are standing around after they have been killed. Also, the issue with fortified infantry will be fixed. Sometimes they have a lower attack radius than displayed. And most important, the pathfinding of units. The pathfinding algorithm needs serious improvements. Just take a look at these few examples. Sometimes tanks get stuck in one another. <laughs> what am I saying? It happens most of the times. And it's especially annoying if you want to push through an enemy position. You lay down a smoke screen and nobody's moving. Yeah, awesome. This really needs to be fixed. The next problem, tanks sometimes react really, really slowly. And if they react, for example, you order them to drive backwards because they are being fired upon with rocket launchers, they just turn around and drive forward. And by that time, they most likely have been destroyed. If the road is blocked, units will search for their own way to get around it, even if that means making a solo run through the enemy lines. And that can cause real trouble, especially if the player isn't paying attention. But now some really big news besides the update. It seems like the creators of Blitzkrieg really listen to the community. The community asks for engineers to remove obstacles. No more artillery strikes will go to waste for that, because engineers will be added to the game. Well, looks like these guys will make a comeback. When it comes to realism, there will be some changes as well. The damage a machine gun can do to a tank will be decreased, and some other changes will come as well. And a personal request, please increase the firing range of assault guns and tank hunters. It seems a bit short. My first language is German, and I must say, the Germans sound German. Perfect. But some of the stuff they say seems to be misplaced, and they want to fix that. For the Soviet fraction I can't really comment on that, because my Russian is not that good. But for my German ears it sounds, um... <laughs> and now that we speak of things which are good, spread the word. There will be real player versus player matches. Let me quote the developers. We are glad to announce new multiplayer modes, where players will now have the opportunity to battle armies led by human opponents in real time. New multiplayer modes are currently in active development, and we will be pleased to tell you more about them in the near future. So classic one-on-one -on -one, and the current game mode will be modified so you have the opportunity to defend the base in real time. Also new historical missions are to come soon. This June three missions will be added, one for each side of the conflict. Nice. It seems the game is going in a good direction and the developers work hand in hand with the community. It seems like Blitzkrieg 3 is back on track to become a really good game. Honestly I'd like to see more developers like these asking for the people's opinion and then if the opinion overwhelmingly says change it then they change it wouldn't it be great if big triple a shooter studios would do this <laughs> i'm not pointing fingers you know it yourself so till then have a good time and stick around for a new update